Well, welcome to the video lecture series on uh, theory of computation. Uh, this is Dr. Kane Sobolan and uh, in today's video lecture we will be learning about a problem based uh, NFA to DFA conversion. That means uh, we are supposed to design an NFA for uh, respective uh, string. But that means the string has to be accepted by the NFA and then uh, we have to convert that NFA back to DFA. So we are going to do uh, uh, two sets of uh, uh, problems uh, in a single problem uh, so we are going to do the same problem into two portions now so first we are going to design uh, NFA with for a specific string uh, now the problem is given like this uh, design an NFA which accepts a string which actually starts with 0 1 and uh, and ends with uh, 1 1 so now what is the language which is accepted uh, the string should always start with 0 1 and it should end with uh, 1 1 and in between you can have uh, any number of zeros and ones because uh, there are only two possibilities in this input so either you can give 0 or 1 so what I am doing is actually I just make Q1 as my initial state I, the problem statement says that uh, the string should always start with 0 1 so first you start, start with 0 you go to the state from Q1 to Q2 for 0 in Q2 when 1 is applied you go to Q3 now uh, in Q3, you can have uh, any number of zeros and ones, okay? Uh, but uh, finally, it should end up with one one. So in Q3 uh, to Q4, when I apply first one, it goes to Q4. And when I apply second one in Q4, it goes to Q5. That means when one one is applied, it goes to the final state. So zero one uh, is the starting point and one one is the ending point. In between, you can have any number of zeros and ones. So I make a self loop in Q3. So zeros and ones can be generated any number of times in Q3. And uh, that is the reason why I have drawn this diagram. So uh, this is called as an NFA, which accepts a specific string, uh, which starts with zero one and ends with one one. Now we construct an NFA table for that. Uh, NFA table I have given like that so delta of n so n means for NFA and the two possibility inputs is actually 0 and 1 so in Q1 uh, if I apply 0 it goes to Q2 and uh, you don't have any transition for 1 uh, in Q1 uh, so I simply made they have left as dash okay instead of dash you can also use pi in Q2 you don't have any transition for 0 and uh, 1 you have uh, Q3 Okay, in Q3, you for 0 it goes to Q3 itself and for 1 it goes to Q3 and Q4. So just I have uh, taken this NFA and uh, put, it in a, put it into a proper table structure here. And Q4, you don't have any transition for 0 and when you have 1 is applied it goes to Q5. Uh, so and I have put in a table, uh, you know that uh, NFA can be uh, drawn in a form of table. Now, how to construct a DFA? That's an uh, important thing. So, conversion, uh, the second part of conversion, we are coming to the problem. Now, uh, you just take up the initial state called as Q110 is applied, it goes to Q2. So, I just uh, go to DFA table. When 0 is applied in Q1, I put the square brackets here. When 0 is applied, it goes to Q2. And uh, from when 1 is applied, actually, it doesn't go to anywhere. So, just make it as delta nothing okay so I have two entries now uh, q1 is an entry and uh, what is the new state I have obtained q2 I don't have any entry for this q2 in this DFA structure okay DFA table structure so new entry is actually q2 so I take q2 now in q2 if I apply 0 so you see when q2 in the NFA diagram in q2 when I apply 0 you don't have any transition so as usual you just make a dash here in Q2 when I apply 1 it actually goes to Q3 okay so here also you just make Q3 now this is the new entry you have got here and uh, out of this actually Q3 does not have any entry in the table here so Q3 is going to be the new state so Q3 okay now listen carefully in Q3 when I apply 0 so what is the transition in Q3 when I apply 0 it goes to Q3 itself so I rest write Q3. In Q3 when I apply 1, it goes to the state called as Q3, Q4. So I just go Q3, comma Q4. Now this is a new entry which I have made over here. So which is the uh, new uh, state here? 
Q3 and Q3, Q4 I have got. So Q3 I already have an entry here in the DFA table, but there is not any entry for Q3 and Q4. Okay, together, together this data does not have an entry. So that is going to be the new state. Now I just use Q3, Q4. Now here we have to now apply the transition. So in Q3, Q4, if zero is applied because the NFA uh, table does not have any entry for Q3 and Q4 together. So in zero is applied, what you are going to do? So we'll go here. Now in, I just write a delta of Q3 comma Q4. When I apply zero, okay. So it can be abbreviated as delta of Q3 comma zero union delta of Q4 comma zero. So Q3 comma 0 uh, where it goes Q3 comma 0 goes to Q3 itself. So I just use Q3 union delta of Q4 comma 0. So Q4 comma 0 in NFA table actually you don't have any entry here just make it a spy. So obviously it will go to Q3 entry itself. So when 0 is applied you go to Q3. So Q3 is not considered to be a new state because already the entry is already there in the NFA table DFA table. Okay, now uh, if 1 is applied on Q3 and Q4, where it goes? So I just make uh, delta of Q3 comma Q4. If I apply 1, what happens? So delta of Q3 comma 1 union, delta of Q4 comma 1. So Q3 comma 1, when I, when I apply Q3 comma 1, it goes to Q3, Q4. Q3 comma Q4 union okay when I apply 1 in Q4 uh, it goes to Q5 so based on the NFA transition table you have uh, Q5 now putting it together uh, you get a new state called as Q3 uh, Q4 and Q5 so when 1 is applied you get Q3 Q4 and Q5 just we will go to the DFA table I just write Q3 Q4 and Q5 I put a table like this okay so out of this two three or uh, two entries Q3 is not a new state because the entry is already there in the DFA table but I don't have entry for Q3 Q4 and Q5 so that is going to be a new state so when new state is there then you have to apply the inputs so Q3 Q4 and Q5 is going to be the new state okay when I apply 0 here okay so what happens Oh, now we will make the transition so delta of q3 comma q4 comma q5 uh, when I make 0 so this can be abbreviated as delta of q3 comma 0 union of delta of q4 comma 0 and union of q5 comma 0 okay so q5 and q5 q3 when you apply 0 it goes to q3 itself and when Q4 0 it does not have any transition just make it as pi in Q5 0 so again you make pi no transition exists so obviously you get the answer called as Q3 okay so when 0 is applied you get the answer called as Q3 so I go to the DFA table I just write Q3 now if 1 is applied on Q3, Q4 and Q5 what will happen okay because I have to apply the uh, another input called as 1 so I just come over here delta of Q3, Q4, Q5 apply 1 here so delta of Q3 comma 1 union of delta of Q4 comma 1 union of Q5 comma 1 ok so Q3 comma 1 uh, it results in Q3, Q4 union ok and uh, Q4 comma 1 it results in uh, Q5 okay and uh, Q5 comma 1 so no transition exists so you again get uh, Q3 Q4 and Q5 okay so this is not going to be the new state because Q3 Q4 Q5 already exists so when I apply 1 it actually goes to Q3 Q4 and Q5 okay 
So if you take up this entry Q3 is not a new state as well as Q3, Q4 and Q5 is not a new state because entry is already there. Okay. So no new state is already generated so we can stop here and we are supposed to draw the DFA diagram. Now we have to fix up which is the initial state. Initial state is obviously Q1 is going to be the initial state. And in the original diagram Q5 is called as a final state. And uh, wherever Q5 is there, so we have to make that as a final state. So out of this, you have Q5 only in Q3, Q4 and Q5. So this is going to be the final state. Okay. Now we are supposed to draw the diagram and uh, we will see uh, whether uh, this diagram is able to reach everything. Mm. That's it. So uh, we are supposed to draw the diagram. That's all. So one final step we have to do it. Uh, now we will draw the diagram now. So I just put the diagram here. So I'm going to draw the diagram which is uh, related to this one. So the first thing we have is uh, I will put here. So in Q1. So I'll type uh, Q1 here, so square brackets, this is going to be a new diagram. Uh, next is we have a Q2, so Q2 is another uh, state and we have a, a Q3, so that is also a state and Q3, Q4, so I come over here, Q3, Q4. That is going to be the state and uh, the last state is Q3, Q4 and Q5. So Q3, Q4 and Q5. So I put so that is going to be the final state. Okay. So Q5 is here. So it is obviously it is going to be the final state. Now we have to make the respective transitions in this uh, DFA. So when an, uh, 0 is applied in Q1 it goes to Q2. So when 0 is applied in Q1 it goes to Q2 for 1 no transition in Q2 0 no transition is there for 1 it goes to Q3 so in Q2 when I apply 1 it goes to Q3 and uh, in Q3 when 0 is applied it goes to Q3 itself so when 1 is applied it goes to Q3 Q4 so when 1 is applied it goes to Q3 and Q4 and uh, in Q3, Q4 when I apply 0 it goes to Q3 itself so Q3, Q4 when I apply 0 it goes to Q3 itself and uh, in when 1 is applied it goes to Q3, Q4 and Q5 so one when 1 is applied it goes to Q3, Q4 and Q5 and the last state is Q3, Q4 and Q5 Okay, when uh, 0 is applied, it goes to Q3. So, when 0 is applied, it goes to Q3. When 1 is applied, it is going to Q3, Q4 and Q5. So, the next parameter is 1. Okay, so 1. So, just I make here 1. That's it. Okay, so that's about uh, uh, the DA, uh, conversion of NFA to DFA. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day.